This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Atlas. We are back here on the Blackwood map and as you can see I've done a little bit of off camera work here. So there's our ship still sent out over there. I built a uh, giant shipyard here, but up a little house next to it. So we got a little, well, actually I built a little house first and then uh, put the shipyard down. But this is going to be our little tiny ship outpost. This is it. This is all we're going to have as far as a uh, on land base goes this is this is pretty much it if i need a little additional storage i'll put a little bit more here maybe uh put a uh, couple up here there isn't anything serious on this island it's going to attack us and destroy the structure so uh, i don't have to put up any real serious fortifications just this little little shenanigans right here is all we're going to use so uh we need to build our first like legit ship. Well, let's get rid of this level thing off the screen first. And do we want stamina keeps becoming an issue. So we're going to do a stamina for now. And I have everything already. Well, I had everything. Where did all my fiber go? Why? Hold on. Hold on. I had everything there. Did I pull fiber out of there for some reason? Like a, a herb derp. Let's grab some fiber out of here. Throw some fiber in here. There we go. Now we got her. So we have everything we need to craft our first brig. So that's what we're doing. Crafting that bad boy up. And there it is. And now we need to start on the construction of all of it. So we're going to pull all that out of there. We're going to slowly move over to here. And then we need... Oh, you know what? I can't remember... <laughs> I can't remember what this takes. Is it a medium deck? It is medium, right? Okay, well, I can't remember and I can't remember how to tell. So we're just going to craft one up and hope that that's what we need for one of our deck situations here. Because if I remember correctly, it can take multiple decks. Oh, and I built one of these. Hold on. Just a jump over here like this. I built this because I was going to put this here, the cargo rack, on this ship, but I could not get it to go on this ship. So we're going to see if we can place it on this one because extra storage is always good. And if this is going to be our first mobile base, storage is going to be a serious issue. So there, okay, that's the right deck. Now the question is, do I want, which one of these do I want? Well, let's go for the bottom one. Let's get the bottom one there first. Okay, so we're going to need three. That's right. So we'll make two more. And I don't know, I don't know how this thing, hold on. Can we, can we just try to snap this on there? Let's grab this and... Let's just see if it if it wants to snap, if it finds a snap point, because that's the error I was getting before. Oh yeah, okay, so it'll snap on, oh great, I fell on the ship. It'll snap on one of these. So once I've built everything, does it only, okay, no, we, oh wow, we can hold a lot of these. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's new. I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten the chance to play with the, the cargo container yet. That's, that's brand new for me. Okay, so let's grab two more of these. These side panels are so freaking expensive. Just insanely expensive. This game is so grindy. Like, I, it's so grindy. I kicked the... I thought 2.5 resource um, gather rate was going to be enough. But I kicked it up to 4 just because I didn't want to spend 12 hours grinding for resources. Like, this stuff is so freaking expensive. Okay, I'm sure it's not bad if you have, like, a, you know, clan of people all working together on it, but for a single player trying to build one of these things, it's absolutely ridiculous. So do we want, yeah, I think we just want that. Yeah, we're just going to do that. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to do anything fancy for this. I think I'm just going to build like, this is going to be everything we need for a base and to outrun ships. I'll build a, another like battleship for fighting ships of the damned. I think I just want this one to be just specifically for base. Just, just, it's going to carry weight and everything we need on it to craft and, and make stuff and, and do all that kind of stuff and outrun 
ships of the dam. I think that's that's the big thing for that one. We want to be able to outrun them because our mobile base. If I if I go putting a bunch of cannons and stuff like that on there, it's going to weigh it down and take up a lot of extra weight that that I'm going to need for storing resources and other stuff that I'm collecting while I'm out on the go. So I kind of just want this to be a very utilitarian type ship, and um, that's what we're going to go for. So I don't remember how many of these I need. I'm going to start with 10. I'm sure it's more than 10, but I can't remember. Now what I may do is I may learn the cannons and put like just a couple on the back. So if we end up with one that's trailing us, but from the last time I played, you could easily outrun ships of the dam. You would just take a, you know, a couple of hits and then outrun them. Oh my God, this is going to take so many. How many does this take? All right, let's see here. So we'll go to the front of the ship. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and then do we have to put, I don't remember if we put, is it one more or two more? So that was ten just across the top on the one side. So we don't even have enough to do the other side. So we might as well just craft them all, and then I don't know what we're gonna- what are we gonna be out of here? Probably wood. So crazy expensive! Okay, so let's grab these, and let's go back up here, and then I guess I'll have to do a little bit more grinding. I mean, we are starting off with a rather large ship. Okay, so no, it's just two, right? It's the other one that's three. The next one up, the galleon is three. Okay, so that's, I guess that's not the worst. I mean, I'm still going to have to grind for some more resources, but it's not nearly as bad. Okay. All right, let me go grind up what we need here. So I got the outer hull complete. Now we're going to go in here and we're going to design the inside of this bad boy. We're going to start off filling in all of this. This can just all be filled in. I'm going to leave the back open here, I think. Yeah, I think what we're going to do that and then uh, we'll jump jump down to here we will uh let's see how do i want to do this i forget how i used to build these things it's been so long uh we'll do the stairs no uh stairs need to rotate yeah i think that that's fine right uh, it's a little well maybe that's not that clunky yeah so we're gonna do that and then yeah we'll do that's what i used to do so we'll do come on do the thing and then we need to switch the stairs, so they need to be that way. Yeah, I like that. That looks cool. Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, then we will cancel that. We'll come down here, and we will build ceiling here and here. And then we can do the same thing with the stairs again. So we'll, we'll just put them down like that. Oh, wait, maybe not. Stairs are going to be wonky. It's obstructed. Why is it obstructed? How is it obstructed when... I'm not obstructing it, am I? No, it's just saying it's obstructed. Okay, so can we put them in the middle then? It took me a few minutes to figure that out. So now we can run down this way and just go across like that. Just like a, a slight hitch with the stairs. Uh, but it works. So... Let's go like that, like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we're getting our head caught just like on that ceiling a little bit. But I like how you can just kind of run across. So that means the rest of this then can just be filled in. So all that can be filled in. This can be filled in. I'm not sure. I mean, we have a ton of room to put a lot of different things on this ship. So I'm not sure. I mean, eventually we'll fill everything out. Because like I said, if it's a mobile base... We need plenty of space anyway. Uh, I usually make smaller bases. I like, you know, tight-knit, efficient things. But, uh, you know, 
Brig's a decent sized ship, I think, to start with. I, I got a few more ceiling over here. Let me go grab those. I don't even know if I'm going to put... I might just leave all of this open. I don't even know if I'm going to put like a cabin on it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel here in a minute. Okay, so we got that done and I pre-built two of the large speed sails. So I don't remember exactly how many this can have. So that's going to be 2.7. If I do another one, that's going to put it at 5.4. And then I guess I could do a medium, what's the other sail? Not the, uh, the weight sail, but the, um, the steering sail, whatever it's called. So we can catch extra wind. So yeah, let's go over there. Let's see what we're going to need for that. The handling sail. So we need a bunch of fiber, metal, and wood for the medium handling sail. That's not... That's not terrible. I got our sail. I think what I'm going to start off with though is putting both of these on here. So we established that those could go what? There could be a max of four. Do I want these towards the back? Yeah, I think we're going to do them like that. I built a second one just because. Now these should, these add additional weight, correct? 50 kilograms cargo. Do I um, access inventory? Ship weight. Hold on. Let's uh, let's pick this up real quick. I want to see exactly what these do. So if we take a look at our ship, our current ship weight is fifteen thousand. So then we place down one of these, and then we look at the ship weight again, fifteen thousand. I thought these increased the total weight of the ship. What is the point of these things? Okay, so they reduce the weight of stuff that's in them, and, and by doing that, they reduce the amount of weight that is on the ship. So, we're going to put two of them down, and then we are going to grab our speeds. Actually, no, let's build. I, I decided I do want to build a little bit of a cabin, so we're going to toss all of our sails up here in our inventory and I don't want to build anything too too crazy what I essentially want to do is just elevate myself I want something to put the the steering wheel on don't want the pretty side out or in mmm I think we're gonna leave it like that have the pretty side in so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go like this and we're gonna do another one here like that and then we're gonna take the ceiling and just go across here. I'm going to do the same thing. Actually take it all the way. Can I get it all the way back? Yep. Okay, great. And then... Do this. And I think... I don't even think I'm going to put a wall, but well... I don't know if I like the look of it. Can we... We cannot snap a wall like that, but we could close it off. Hmm. Can we do a half wall? Or a slanted wall? No, I would have had to have left the back off first to be able to clip it. So, you know what? We're just going to leave it like that. We're just going to leave it, leave it empty and open like that. Um, this is essentially, like I said, just to raise us up. And I have one set of stairs left. I'm going to need to make a, another set of stairs just because I like things to be symmetrical. And then we will... Nope. Uh, I don't want those stairs. I want um, those stairs like that. Yeah, and then I'll put the other ones over there and then I could just... Do I want the... No, actually, you know what? I don't want the stairs. I think I want to do ramps. I think that's what I want to do here. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. Um, I'm not 100% sure I like it. I may make some alterations later, but this will work for now. And then what we can do is put the steering wheel smack dab in the middle of this bad boy. I think right there, just like that. How does that look? Oh yeah, that's spot on. That's perfect. Okay, so now that we got that done, now we can decide on where and how we want to do the sail situation here. So we'll drag our sails down and we're eventually going to need crew for these because we're not going to be able to pilot this ourselves. All right, I don't want that smack dab in the middle. 
So we will move that forward to there. That's one speed sail down. Hopefully we can fit all of the sails. Holy crap, how far do I got to put that forward? Okay. And then our last one, are we going to have room for it? Okay, there we go. So that is the basic part of the ship. I think that works. And now all we have to do from this point is just get it kitted out with all of like base necessities. So I'll replicate all the stuff. We'll get the smithy in there. We'll get, um, oh great, I'm stuck. Really? Okay, no, I'm not. I'm good. That's going to have to be remedied. Uh, but yeah, we'll get a loom on here. We'll get a smithy on here. All of that stuff, everything that we're going to need. We'll put all of that downstairs. We need to get an additional bed on here, but we have plenty of room for a lot of different things down here. And if I want to put cannons on it, if I decide to, oh, it's like a little foggy out. What I can do is build, and part of the reason I put, I decided to put the cabin on the back of here is I can build this up just ever so slightly higher. Just go up like one more and uh, one more full wall height and just put a couple of cannons across the back. But I, I'm not sure I'm going to do that because like I said, I think I just want this to be a base ship and and that's it we have the two speed sails on there so we should be able to outrun anything we run into and we'll, we'll upgrade those when we find blueprints uh, that allow us to do so so now what we need to do is we need to get on that treasure hunting game so I'm going to just throw oh I forgot I wanted to put the I gotta put the resource box on there so we're going to put that on there real quick. And then what we need to do is get a hold of some gold so that we can then hire some crew members so that we can actually use our ship. Because right now, we can't really steer this bad boy ourselves. So we're just going to put this right here, I think. Directly in the back? Yeah, let's just put it front and center in the back. Why is it being like wonky? Look at that. That's not even. Do you see that? It like tilts. Look at it tilt. It's even there tilts that's really weird okay fine i guess i'll put two and we'll just put one here and then i'll get another one and put on the other side all right there we go so we'll just get another one later and we'll put one over here oh i just realized these walls are backwards all right i'll fix it later i'm not fixing it right now we're done with that we need to do some treasure hunting i want to take a look at these maps and see where they're at and if maybe one is on this island or not. I did make a shovel and we did get a couple of maps. I also want to make a, a trip around the edge of the island to see if we can find some more maps. All right, so let's see what we got map wise here and we can maybe do our first map and get the gold that we need. The other thing we could do is build a grappling hook and take our, our little ship here out and use the grappling hook to try to find some flotsam. I don't know where that would be because we did not run into any on our way here. So a treasure map might be my best bet. Okay, so let's take a look here. That doesn't look very familiar to me. Luckily, we don't have a lot of different islands to choose from, and I'm not sure where that's at. I thought this would be a bit easier. I'm actually terrible at treasure hunting in this game. All right, that one's got to be easy, right? That's the neighboring island. Is that the Nope Island? Yeah, that's the Nope Island, I think. Okay, I'm pretty sure none of the ones we have here are our current island. So... We're going to take a little trip. Actually, let's go over here. Let's make a grappling hook real quick. I think we have it. Did I learn it? I learned piracy. No, I didn't. Okay, so I need to learn the grappling hook. I uh, don't remember what that's under. I did unlock piracy. Oh, it's the basic, the basic tools, right? Yeah, we got it in there. Flare gun, all that good stuff. Oh, I saw that you can actually like... Learn this now and put this in your crew's hands and they'll play it and give you the buff, which is freaking awesome. Because the that was like a terrible, terrible thing beforehand. I hated trying to do the, the music. It's like a worse version of Guitar Hero. Okay, so we have this and we need to build. Somebody suggested, and I want to try this, suggested moving the ship's wheel closer. So let's build a new ship's wheel. And they suggested that I take and remove this one 
and move it closer to this and I'll be able to operate it better. So we're going to try that demo this and then we will just, um, yeah, now it's telling me it's obstructed. Why is it obstructed? See, this is the problem I was having. Well, it's not obstructed right here. What is going on? This is the problem I was having with the, the cargo thing. Because according to what I just read when I was looking up what the cargo thing does, it should snap on here. Yeah, it wants to snap all the way back to there, but it won't snap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We just had it. Okay, that's a little off kilter there, but will that work? And then I can do that. And then, okay, that, that'll work. That'll, that'll get the job done. Okay, so let's get the the anchor up and let's just, I guess we'll go out and see if we can find a little bit of flotsam. Uh, I mean, honestly, we only need like a couple, maybe not even a couple, like one or two, right? Cause we don't need a bunch of people. Okay. So we made it back to the starting area here and I didn't run into any flotsam. So there's no flotsam at all between this Island and our uh, home base Island. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of pull in here real quick and hopefully not beach this thing. Do that, park it right there. And I don't remember how much it is per crew member. So I'm going to head over here and see if I can find the person. I don't remember if it was one or five. I do have a shovel and we could use the shovel and dig and dig and dig until we maybe get some gold that way because i i did get one piece of gold from digging with the shovel oh we got some more maps over here so that's nice maybe one of these will actually be on this island and that one was a fine let's see what this one is masterwork nice all right let's see where these are yeah i'm almost positive that's the cold island up there in the top left hand corner because it's got like that giant black mass right beside the X and you can see it in that island up there. No, I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, so we're not doing those right now. I mean, we could do that one, but I don't know if I felt like sailing over there to do that one. Let's go see if we can find the person that sells people first. I don't even know where there is that person at here. Okay, I found the guy and it looks like we need five gold coins per. So that kind of sucks because we need at least three of them. So that's 15 gold. So that means we're going to have to find either a treasure map or, oh, we got one over here. Let's go grab this one. Uh, we'll have to find either a treasure or some flotsam. So I think between this episode, the next one I'm going to do is just plan for that. That way we can actually like officially get the brig up and running and have our mobile base and do some legit exploring on all these other islands. So, uh, yeah, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider in that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Lee Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.